Hey, welcome back to my garage. Today we're gonna make some hanging cabinets. Hi, my name is Bob and I love my two car garage. Now this is kind of easy because we already have the fronts of the old cabinets that were in this kitchen. We're just replacing some that were damaged. And both of these were above the stove on either side of the stove. So we're going to use these old cabinet fronts as kind of our pattern. And the first thing we're going to do is to cut the rails and the styles for the front of each of these cabinets. And of course we're going to cut those rails and styles on our table saw. I like to set up a little stop right here so that everything comes out the same. So my style is going to be the height of my cabinet, which is 35 inches. So I set up a little stop here at 35 inches. It's going to cut at least four pieces that way. All right, so this is how we get started on a traditional face frame cabinet. We make the face frames first. We're going to put all this together with face frame screws. So we're going to drill holes on the back side of these rails, top and bottom, and put everything together. This particular cabinet on this side has an extended style. It's a little bit wider because it's going to be in a corner and it's going to butt up against another camera cabinet. You don't necessarily have to use glue on your joints when you're using face frame screws. Face frame screws are plenty strong, but if you don't use glue, the joint will move a little bit. And if these, if it's going to be painted, if your cabinet's going to be painted, then there's going to be a little crack there where it moves. So these are going to be painted cabinets, so I'm going to use both face frame screws and glue. All right, I got my face frames made, so now I'm going to cut out my um, panels and, and uh, shelves out of some three quarter inch plywood. I love plywood. It's way better than particle board or BIM DF. Doesn't weigh so much. A lot easier to work with. So these cabinets are gonna get made out of plywood. So I cut my panels to width on my table saw and I'm gonna cut them to length on my miter box saw. It's got a nice long capacity here, a nice wide capacity. Works great. It's gonna be fixed shelves. And um, most people never use the adjustable feature anyway. They usually stick the, the shelves in one spot and leave them there for years and years and years. So um, we're going to put nine inches between each shelf. And I'm going to go ahead and cut those dados right now. And the top half is just going to be, well, a little bit larger. But I'm going nine, nine, and a little bit larger. And you got to be kind of careful when you're cutting across the grain these dados because the blade tends to rip out the veneer, so you got to go nice and slow. I'm going to cut my shelves now for my, uh, for my cabinets. And uh, I did that after I cut the dados so that I know how long exactly they need to be. This particular cabinet, because it has this extended style on the right side, uh, the, the cabinet itself or the panel can, be, can come in quite a bit. I'm going to leave about a half inch overhanging on this side because it kind of tucks into a blind corner. On the left side, it needs to be nice and flush. So right here, this is gonna be flush. Extended style is gonna hang over a half inch on the right side. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this first cabinet together using my 15 gauge finish nailer and some glue. And what I do, I'm gonna watch an action movie. All right, a hanging cabinet needs to have some pretty good support pieces in the back. So, I made this piece right here, two inch piece with some pocket hole screws on the end, routed the edge so it's nice and smooth. That's gonna go down there. Made a similar piece for the top, but it's a little wider. It's three inches wide. It's gonna go up here at the top. And also cut a piece of three quarter inch plywood that's gonna go on top of that. 
So it's gonna uh, make a nice sturdy corner to screw this to the wall. We are ready to put the face frame on the cabinet. Just like that. This little router bit right here is pretty cool. It's a flush cutting bit, but it's got a little pointy part on it right there near the top. And what it's gonna do is I'm gonna put that in my router. I'm gonna run it along this edge right here. It's gonna cut the face trim off flush with the side panel, and it's gonna put a little groove right there at the joint between the panel and the face frame. Kinda hides the joint, but it also kinda gives a little style. That looks pretty cool, eh? Now the front edges of these shelves and the bottom edge of the cabinet. And even, I don't want the, the edge of that plywood to, to look bad. So I got to do something there. So I can uh, rip a piece of wood and tack it on the front here, glue it and nail it. Um, or I could just caulk it up real well and sand it and paint it because it is going to get painted. Or I can use this little iron-on strip right here, which I like this iron-on stuff when I have some. So I'm going to use that on the front edges of my shelving. On the bottom of this panel right here, or on the bottom edge of the cabinet where the plywood shows, I am just going to caulk that up real well and sand it. It's going to get painted. It's going to be underneath. You're not going to see it. So I think that's a good enough choice for the bottom edges. These two hanging cabinets are ready for, for sanding. I'm going to sand them first with some 100 grit sandpaper, get rid of all the kind of unevenness on the joints and such, and then I'm gonna finish up with some 120 or probably 150. While I do my sanding, I think I'm gonna watch an old episode of Gunsmoke. <laughs> it's a pretty cool old show. <laughs> All right, I went ahead and finished up all three cabinets that I needed to do. I also needed to do one for the middle right here. This is going to go above a stove. It's going to be open. We're going to put some fancy stuff in here. Got some beaded board in the back. Put a cove around here. Put an arch on that top rail right there. So it kind of mirrors what's going to be going on in these doors. These doors are going to have arches on them as well. So all done, ready to install. Don't forget, better a patient man than a warrior, and one with self-control than one that takes a city. What does that mean? It means you got to take a break once in a while. you got to take your time. You're going to be safer. You're going to be happier. You're going to do better work. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.